So in this lesson, I am continuing exercise 15b of D4, sorry, D2 7th edition. Question number is now 4, up till 3, I have done that in my previous lesson. So question number 4 says our regular octagon is divided into 4 regions, 4 regions, P, Q, R, S. A point is selected at random in the octagon. You are going to select a point at random anywhere in the octagon to so find the probability that the point lies in region R S P or Q. Mm, interesting. So first of all, first of all, let me explain it in my way. Octagon eight sided three four that is a regular octagon five six seven eight okay great I got it I am dividing its sectors because it is a regular octagon that mean that mean length of all the sides are same so we have sectors we have how many sectors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the interesting thing is that these sectors have the same angles. These angles are same. This is a regular octagon. These lengths are same. This length, this length, this length, this length, this length, this length, they are same. So the angles opposite to them are also same. So you can find any one of these angles and that will be same for all of the other sectors. So the total angle, this is angle at a point. So angle at a point, as you know, it is 360. This complete angle is 360. So you have to divide 360, the total angle into how many parts? Eight, because we have eight sections as in front of you what is the angle for a single sector uh, that is 8 4 times 32 8 5 times 40 45 45 this is 45 this is 45 this is 45 45 45 45 45 45 now coming back to my question what is the probability that your point when you choose a point at random in this octagon, regular octagon, what is the probability that the point lies in the region R? Question number 4, part 1, probability of having your point in the region R. Then you must know what is the angle for the region R. Now that represents a single sector R like one of them maybe this one so the angle for one sector is 45 by total angle is 360 and that is 1 by 8 you can simplify it it you will be getting 1 by 8 part number 2 what is the probability of uh, selecting a point at random from the octagon and that lies in s now you must know how many sectors are being covered in the region S. Let me draw over here. 1. So 1, 2, 3. We have 3. 1, 2, 3 in S. 3 sectors. And 1 sector in octagon has an angle of 45. So 3 sectors have how many? 45, 45, 90. That is 135. Mean this angle is 135. 45 plus 45 plus 45 while total angle this complete one is 360 I need to do some simplification over here 5 2 times 10 5 7 times 35 5 7 times 35 5 2 times 10 3 9 times 27 3 2 times 6 3, 4 times 12, 9 by 24. This is exercise 15b. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पार्ट नंबर टू एंड यू कैन डू फर्दर सिंप्लीफिकेशन थ्री हाउ मेनी टाइम्स नाइन थ्री थ्री टाइम्स नाइन थ्री एट टाइम्स ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम राइट आंसर इज थ्री बाई एट फॉर पार्ट नंबर टू मूविंग टूवर्ड्स पार्ट नंबर थ्री ऑफ द सेम क्वेश्चन पार्ट नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन बी Choosing a point at random in your regular octagon and that point is coming in which region P or Q. Probability of finding, uh, selecting a point at random, that must be in P or Q. So whenever the word Q is used, that means probability of landing your point in P plus probability of having your point in Q. Or mean this. So what is the probability of uh, having a point in P? Where is P? You know here is P, and it it covers how many sectors? One and one two. One and one two. So two sector, one sector has forty five angles. So two sectors each forty five and forty five ninety. And total angle is three sixty. This is probability of landing your point in in the region P. Plus probability of having your point in Q. How many sectors are being covered in Q? One, two. And you know each sector has same angle. So again, ninety by three sixty. You can simplify it. Three sixty is LCM. So one eighty. Ninety plus ninety is one eighty. Denominators are same. LCM is three sixty. So ninety plus ninety give you one eighty. One eighty over three sixty is one by two. So this is solution of Question number four, part three, one by two, of exercise fifteen B. Then we have question number five. There are fifteen girls and X boys at a school parade square. Write down an expression in terms of X for the total number of students at the school parade square. Well, total number of students. Well, that is girls and boys. That is total number of students for question number five, part one. Total number of students. That is girls plus boys. We have fifteen girls, and how many boys we have? X. This is the answer. Fifteen plus X because you have to write down an expression in terms of X. Part number two. A student is selected at random. Write down an expression in terms of x for the probability that the student is a girl. So probability that the student is a girl. Well, that is simple. As you people know, the probability is your number of favorable. outcomes over total outcomes number of total outcomes well we are looking for the student who is a girl and they are 15 in numbers while total students we have to divide by total outcomes which are total students and that are 15 plus x so your answer is in terms of x part number 2 is clear part number 3 given that the probability in 2 probability in 2 mean probability of having a girl student probability in 2 mean probability of a girl student that is how many how much 1 by 5 this is given in in part number 3 this one that probability in 2 is 1 by 5 1 by 5 find the value of x well probability That we have a girl student is one over five and 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 that was fifteen over fifteen plus x. So fifteen over fifteen plus x is equal to one by five. Cross multiply fifteen into five is fifteen plus x. Fifteen into five seventy five is equal to fifteen plus x. 
वो 15 ओवर हेयर 75 फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन विल गिव यू सिक्सटी दिस इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव देन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एंड अ क्लास ऑफ थर्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स सो वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एंड वी हैव हाउ मैनी स्टूडेंट्स थर्टी एट ओके Out of the 38 students who went on a short trip to Bangkok, of the 18 boys, out of this 38, we have 18 boys. Then the rest of the girls, then the rest of them will be girls. 18 boys out of 38, then you have 20 girls. and uh, out of 18 boys six of them checked in their luggage six checked in so how many didn't checked in six checked in so obviously 12 didn't checked in and from the girls eight of the girls didn't check in their luggage eight didn't checked in then how many girls checked in if eight didn't then 12 checked in this is a supposed diagram okay If a student is chosen at random, find the probability that the student is. Part one says you have to find the probability that the student is a girl who did not check in their luggage. Who did not check in, and that is where. Are The the number of girls twenty. Okay, how many didn't check in eight? While total number of students are thirty eight. This is your favorable outcomes. The girls who didn't check in divided by total number of outcomes is the number of students. Total students, boys and girls. You can simplify it to four times eight to nineteen times thirty eight. So this is exercise 15B, question number six, part number one. 4 by 19 is the answer. What about part number two? Checked in his her luggage. Probability of checking in, and I'm talking about his her. That mean both boys and girls. Am I right? Okay. How many boys checked in? Six. How many girls checked in? Twelve. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Total number of students, thirty-eight. To nine times eighteen. To nineteen times thirty-eight. Nine by nineteen is the answer for question number six, part number two. So this is solution up to question number six of D two exercise fifteen B. Keep watching. Thank you so much.